Did you watch the TikTok Chat Wife? I don't think we watched this. No, I don't think we did. I think at the time my PC. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Like when I wanted to watch this, like my TC, my PC went to shit. That was the time when my PC went, went to shit. Oh my god! <sighs> Shoe videos. Shoe videos. Oh, women. What are women? No, Matt Walsh, down, down, no, no, get back in your cage, get back in your cage. Depending what on who fuck? you ask, women are strong, independent, beautiful angels. What's a woman? Who can do no wrong, or evil, ungrateful. <laughs> not me, though. What's a woman? I you up? I'm not like other girls. <laughs> Today we I'm not like the other girls. I wear leggings. If you know, you know. We are taking a break from my seemingly never-ending research into the male question, and we are talking about women. In my video, What Happened to Men, I talk about femboys. And in this video, Have I'm we talking watched that about- one? I don't know if we did. TikTok trad wives. The term yeah, trad wife is Bye, trending Max. online, fueled by a TikTok influencer who uses the term to refer to herself and how she sees her role in her marriage. This isn't okay. just about personal choice or individual preferences. A resource Michael here. advancing a right-wing political ideology and dressing it up as a lifestyle. Okay. What happened to women? Now before we hop what into our shiny to armor to defend Milady, let's get into today's sponsor. Tired of this happening to you? Introducing oh, Ridge. Ridge wallets are high quality aluminum I'm wallets of them. that can hold up to 12 cards, plus that fat stack of cash you're gonna take out of your bank before it collapses. Have a normal wallet. Ridge wallets are made with RFID blocking technology, it's, it's which so protects weird to you me. from digital pickpockers, which will be great when the one world government forces us to rely on digital currency. Stop hating, stop There's over 30 ferret? colors Wait, and what? styles, including carbon fiber, burnt titanium, and my favorite, rose gold. Ridge has over 50,000 five-star reviews, and they're so confident that you'll Damn. love their product that they'll let you test it out for 90 days. And if you don't Whoa. love it, you can return it and get a full refund. So go to ridge.com slash shoe or click the link down can below and enter like code it? shoe at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. Big thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this video and thank you, the viewer, for not skipping the ad. Thank you! Now let's get back to the video. We did it! Oh, happy belated international- I know I keep saying this, but every time, shoe video, that- that- that commenter list ran free in my head. You guys know which commenter I'm talking about. You guys know which commenter I'm talking about, chat. You know. You know. Ugh. Oh boy, he loves rent free up there. Women's Day, everybody. Happy Women's History Month, in fact. I didn't even know it was Women's History Month until I saw this commercial from Hershey's. My name is Faye Johnstone. I'm the executive director of Wisdom to Action. We can create a world where everyone is able to live in public space as their honest and authentic selves. See the woman changing how we see the future at Hershey's Canada. Is that Hershey's really the representation we want for women? Cookies and cream? Disgusting. The other day, this video of TikTok influencer SD Williams absolutely Never blew up her, on she's... Twitter. Welcome... Wait, what did it say? Well, the world continues to condemn traditional wives. I'll continue to live for my truth. I mean, as long as she's happy. Like, in all honesty, there's nothing wrong with it as long as she's happy with it. As long as she and her partner are happy in the way they're living, there's nothing wrong with being a traditional housewife. Like... Esty is one of many in the new growing movement of TikTok tradwives. Women who quit their jobs and decide to be stay-at-home girlfriends, wives, or mothers, dedicating their time to domestic chores like cooking, cleaning, and taking care of their family. As soon as I saw this video of Esty Williams, I was seething with jealousy. This woman looks like she jumped right out of a 50s Coca-Cola ad. She, she looks does. Beautiful, she confident, is. Happy. Everything the internet hates. So I defended the femboys and today I'm going to be defending the TikTok tradwives. Both are very different things, but also kind of similar at the same time. Both are exaggerations of femininity and are seen as rebelling against society, depending on where you stand. Depending on which party you vote for, the red satanic pedophiles or the blue 
satanic pedophiles. Now, I happen to support both the femboys and the triad wives. Real controversial oh, yeah. stuff happening on this channel, folks. Subscribe for the <laughs> oh, hot takes you? like, is mayonnaise oh, too spicy? I think it's cool when people do whatever they want. Is mayonnaise too spicy? Okay. But despite how much hate is thrown at them. And Clearly. wow, was there a lot of hate thrown at this woman. Turns out it's all women can choose to do whatever they want until a woman I checked your YouTube and you haven't reacted to the shoe video with Harry Styles in the thumbnail. Oh, the fanboy one? Yeah, she I guess I have to do whatever she wants. Over the past few months, there have been dozens of articles on the growing epidemic of TikTok trad wives. Fanboy them classist, wife? racist, How? heteronormative, disturbing Racist? videos featuring cis white women. Oh no, not cis white women. How did we get to racism? How the fuck did we get... I turned off my brain for two seconds! Two seconds! Whatever she wants. Over the past few months, there have been dozens of articles on the growing epidemic of TikTok trad wives, calling them classist, racist, heteronormative, disturbing videos featuring cis white women. Oh no, not cis white women. What a horror. The horror. The horror! Articles calling the women insecure, telling them to what? just do BDSM instead. What the? What the? Article saying they have no problem with their individual choices. But if this is the age of the trad wife, then I'm ready to die alone. Then die. What do we do? <laughs> Me? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Argue with you? I'm not on the debate team. This isn't mock trial. The articles about this were pretty bad, but the comments were even worse. Imagine no. being so scared of chasing your own dreams, you decide to sell your soul to a man. People just hate other be people being happy. Being a slave to a man isn't being feminine. <laughs> it's being a slave. Uh. Hey. Please stop glorifying this. Spending every second of your life in service to men is not something to aspire for. If She's happy and confident and beautiful. <laughs> They all see them with jealousy. This is what makes her happy, that's great. Looks like she loves her life and I'm ecstatic for her. But, it's not condemning oh, housewives. But. but, literal male fantasy cosplay, LMAO. So does her husband beat and degrade her? Don't come cr- No father figure. No fucking father figure there. There was no father figure. Crying to us girl bosses when your husband abuses you for dinner being cold. Stupid dumb girl who- Can these men hating femsels understand that marriage is a team for work effort? Like literally. Who will end up with nothing when he leaves her for another one. I would love to come home from the construction site and slam her head into the fridge door for forgetting to put my beer in there. 1950. Bro, they're all just seething with jealousy. They're all just fucking seething with jealousy. Style. I would love to grab her by the hair and slam her face into the fridge. Fascist Barbie would need a lot more of that caked up makeup to cover the bruises on her face after I beat her for not having dinner ready on time. Like, is this a man saying this? Is this a woman saying this? Like, uh, are men hating on this now too? Like... Who? What? Time. Why are they all so violent? These people need to be in prison. Women like this trigger a violent reaction in me. Really? Yeah, we can tell. As far as I know, none of these women are telling people how they should live. In fact, SD Williams is doing the exact opposite. The misconception about the trad wife movement, um, it's not really a movement, nobody's pushing it. People are typically just living it and maybe showcasing their lifestyle like, like me. Literally. And we believe they're just showcasing our place, it. Specifically us as individuals. <laughs> 
believe our purpose is to be homemakers. There are a lot of people trying to make this a sinister thing so or put some other darker meaning behind the term trad wife. Nobody is doing that. We as individuals are just choosing to be homemakers. That's all. Feminism is about personal choice. <laughs> but you chose wrong. Until. <laughs> condemning Until you chose wrong. Lives. I'm so tired of these self-proclaimed victims. No one is coming after you. It's all in your head, my sweet, aggrieved well, white. What is he talking about? Others does not mean the exclusion of you. Breathe, whitey. It's Schizo. Schizo take. Like, I don't even know... What the hell this person is talking about? Like, actual schizo It's gonna be okay. Name one person who is condemning traditional wives. I am. Okay, just because someone chooses to live an oppressive lifestyle doesn't make it any better. Gender traditionalism is toxic, period. Doing- How is it oppressive? Like, she- sh why is it always white people? Where did that come from? Because if they put white in front of it, they can push their agenda. It's just... It's, uh, throwing in buzzwords and all that shit, you know? Google King, thanks for the follow! Things for the sake of gender roles or gender tradition is toxic, period! In the end, this only benefits patriarchy. Individual choices oh, patriarchy. do not exist in a vacuum. She's promoting a dangerous slavery mindset to young women. This is not real feminism. Feminism is about the emancipation of all women from the patriarchy, not just some women. Y'all are embarrassing. Okay. I, as a woman, am not allowed to choose how I want to live, I guess, anymore. I need the feminists to tell me how to live now. Uh, feminists need to tell me my role in society now. So that I can choose to not choose. Make sense yet? I love all these people like nobody is condemning trad wives. And then there's like hundreds and hundreds of sorry, comments kids, and kids, You gotta go, bus. No! All I ever wanted to be was a girl failure! I don't want a girl boss! It's too much effort! It's too much effort! We love to hate the patriarchy, but somehow when asked to define and display current examples of it, they break down. Videos of people condemning trad wife. Trad wife until their toddler shits on them and their husband of 12 years, their senior, punches them out for not having dinner ready at 5 p.m. exactly. You realize when you hit 40, your husband is gonna start having sex with one of your teenage daughter's friends, right? Talk about irony, man. Talk about the fucking ir irony. Holy moly. Oh, remotely, oh, remotely. Projecting? Projecting, maybe? Maybe projection? You realize when you hit 40, your husband is gonna start having sex with one of your teenage daughter's friends, right? You know she's getting it from Tyrone while her husband watches. Excuse you? Wait, how did we get to- to cucks. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Writing whole ass fan fictions about a woman <laughs> they've never met. Oh, I bet she's so miserable. I bet he beats her. Oh, yeah, I bet she's cucking her husband for Tyrone. The porn addicts exposed them himself. Yeah. Trad wife is when white blonde with big booba. Real trad wives don't have big fake tits. Stupid bitch with fake tits. Every single trad wife account is just softcore porn from women with massive. What? Softcore porn! Tits. This is giving off OnlyFans vibes. Chat, 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 chat. You know that I always call out the OF girls. You know it. You know I call out the OF girls. You know I say it. this. This person has no F.
this this woman is just happy. <laughs> they, this this woman, this this tread wife, she's just happy. Leave her alone. Leave her alone, man. They, holy shit. This is a fetish. Brain she says in the, the video brain, yeah. she chose this life, and she did. It's a choice to be this stupid. You call yourself trad, and yet you have big breasts. Checkmate. This you. right here is pure distilled coom brain. I implore you to step out of your goon cave and get some fresh air, please. Just because you find please. the woman hot doesn't mean it's porn. Can we stop calling this a fetish? Oh, thank God. Somebody thank normal. You. Thank this you. is a well-documented white nationalist online trend. What? Friend. Oh god damn it. Trad wife, but she uses so- What was the rest of it? Calling it a fetish depolitizes a dangerous pipeline. Please look up trad wives and white nationalism. This is a key recruitment tool. <laughs> it's a recruitment tool. It's a recruitment tool. It's a recruitment tool. Where can I sign up? Let me in. I don't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> this is a well-documented white nationalist online trend. Oh god damn it. Trad wife, but she uses social media, lol. If she's such a trad wife, why is she on an iPhone? If she's so traditional, why- Okay. Oh. Retards. I'm sorry, but it just retarded. Let's- Retarded. Why is she using a cell phone? This sounds like no, conservative no. boomers when they're like, Oh, you're a socialist? How come you have an iPhone? Impossible to be a traditional wife when I'm a male. Hey, that is not true. It is 2023. We support <laughs> trad husbands you and boy wives on this channel. This would be fine if it weren't for all the whiny pick-me sh**. Nobody cares if you want to cook and have big titties. Go- What? Hey! She's got a husband! Go have fun. Imagine being so insecure with your miserable life you have to do some 1950s Nazi cosplay to get any mail. Here it is. There it is. There it is. That's Nazi. Yep. It's a Nazi. Attention, lol. Did he pick you, sis? Pick me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> Hope he picks you, queen. This pick me. All this woman has to do to get picked is exist. I don't think she needs to make a big spectacle on TikTok to get male attention when she looks like this. She's so pretty. Bro, she's so pretty. <laughs> she's so pretty. She looks incredible. Look at her. She's beautiful. Pick me, Foxy. Literally peak woman. He did pick her. He did pick her. That is true. He did pick her. That's why they're jealous. Just just jealousy seething from within all of those sages. Legit. She is so gorgeous. Be serious. And also, can we just talk about this pick me shit? Pick me is an insult people throw at women when they aren't towing whatever the current NPC line is. Some of these people calling this woman a pick me have only fans in their bios. You literally financially <laughs> wow would you look at that would you fucking look at that we rely on being picked by men if men didn't pick you you'd be out of a job and i'd have like 5,000 views per video but when i do it it's based when you do it it's cringe based actually fucking based man that just that statement was fucking based bro oh my god oh my god that was oh wow i love that oh my god i love that i guarantee i can cook better than her i can bake better bread than her and my boobs are bigger i just don't okay. wear ugly dresses and i work for a living i'm not married and i certainly wouldn't submit to a husband if i had one yeah a husband doesn't want you that's the reason you don't have a husband it's the reason you don't have one. Sorry, I was uh, trying to find your fucking point. I'm actually a lot better and hotter than her, and I'm not married. Okay. I want her to peg me. <laughs> sure. 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 
future. <laughs> oh, I don't know how that one got in there. <laughs> Sorry. I wish America could go back to the 50s when things were simpler. I'm <laughs> I'm secretly, <laughs> secretly gay. I have polio. I'm not allowed to wear pants or go to college. Oh my god. I beat the shit out of my son and molested my daughter and no one will ever do a goddamn thing about it. I can't get through my day without a shit ton of drugs. What the fuck? Most of those things still happen today. But the being on drugs that one is, is true. funny because it's like, yes, it's true, women were on a shit ton of drugs back then. But I really gotta ask, like, do you know how many people are on SSRIs? How many people require them to function? No one here in chat. No one. No one here. No. No one here. I. I don't, I don't know. I don't know a single person. I don't. I don't know a single person. No. In <laughs> every day, the shit the average woman is on nowadays would kill a 1950s housewife. I only take my ADHD medication sometimes, but I should be on like four other pills I'm prescribed. But I simply do not take them because I refuse to be a walking big pharma cocktail, and my mental illnesses make me funnier. I'm sorry, I gotta say it, but all she's doing is dressing cute and cooking and cleaning. Is that what Trad is? Kind of? A little bit? Honestly, I kind of agree with this one. Oh, you didn't door dash McDonald's? You made some ramen she's noodles cooking? tonight? Uh, I'm How looking trad? pretty. You cleaned the f***ing toilet? How trad? You wiped your ass? Trad. I feel like millennials and zoomers have psyoped themselves to believe basic ass things like cooking food and cleaning the house are traditional. Or even more deranged, white supremacy. Trad wise. Uh, excuse me, what? Excuse you, what? Ex excuse. Oh, hold on just a minute. <laughs> Sexism as a gateway to white supremacy. A common theme among the haters of our trad wife friends is implying or even outright accusing them of covertly or overtly selling white supremacy to young women. There's nothing wrong with yearning to raise kids, bake bread, and keep a tidy home while your husband brings home the bacon. However, the most telling However. aspect of the trad wife's hashtag is the other half of the term, wives. Women defined by their relationship to men, from the perspective of men, specifically men of the alt-right. The trad wife's what? trend articulates not only women's roles over their choices, but also how the manosphere brings together those who are blindsided by the feminist movement and want to teach women how to take care of their men and give birth to more white babies. Okay. This is how sexism functions as a gateway to white supremacy. Men bonding over misogyny and rallying for the white race. So as far as I can tell, none of these trad wives mention being white or whiteness or any of that. These people are just kind of convinced that's what this is. That these homemaking lifestyle videos are actually a dog whistle. Luring people. Yeah, 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 they're recruiting. It's a recruitment tool. All right. Like me in 2015 when I said man spreading. And then you went down the right wing rabbit hole. <laughs> Behind the rise of the online trad wife movement, trad ideology doesn't just extend to the 1950s housewife videos. It also has sinister connections with right wing extremism, experts say. There was so much of this that even S.D. Williams, the main character of this anime, had to come out and say this. I do not support anything like white supremacy. I don't want to be associated with anything like that. Well, too bad, bitch. the experts are here. The experts are here. Um, it's giving blood and soil. Oh, I, I, I have, oh, I have so many thoughts. Oh, I have, oh, I have so many thoughts. I have so many thoughts on this. None of them TOS. None of them TOS. Like, you know, I just think that if I was part of a movement that had a lot of crossover with fascists and neo-Nazis and Nazi culture, I would probably make sure that my propaganda for my lifestyle did not, like, emulate. And, you know, like, it's, like, really, like, you know, yeah, it's, like... She's like white and like she's promoting like fascism and like 
it's only further nurturing the patriarchy. The 1920s and 30s. Just, just how I do stuff, though. You know. First of all, no, it's just made what is this voice? I see you. I hate this voice. You know, I hate this voice. Happy. Nazi propaganda. I hate this voice so much. I hate it. 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 This like fake apathy shit is just as performative as putting on a 1950s housewife dress and doing little cosplay on TikTok. Let's be serious for a second. Nobody doesn't care that much. And for the love of God, blend your eyeshadow. The desire to live in the 1950s ignores the reality of that decade. What's wrong with the trad wife trend is that it romanticizes a time when staying in the home and marrying no, a man as means for socioeconomic survival was mandatory, while women, people of color, and the LGBT community were nowhere near equal. When what the f <laughs> trad wives glorify this. <laughs> I'm seizing with anger. I am seizing with the anger. The thing that triggers me the most is how all of these brain rot mixes use highly specific and scientific field type of words for the most emotional and biased descriptions of opinions. <laughs> they like to throw Nazi around like a lot. I may be misremembering social studies, Canada's name for history class, but wasn't Hitler progressive? I don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. People of color and the LGBT community were nowhere near equal. When trad wives glorify this decade, they're glorifying a time that was actually pretty terrible for a lot of people. Oh, so you're a trad wife? Have you heard about a little thing called segregation? I don't believe any of these women want to bring back segregation or like polio. In fact, there are a lot of black trad wives too. It's like a whole thing. Honestly, this is the most feminist wow, I'll ever say. I believe a lot of this bullying that these trad wives are facing comes from an underlying resentment or internal resentment we have towards traditionally feminine behavior. Let me just slip into video essayist mode for a second. Okay. 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 Ayo? Ayo? Slip into video essayist mode for a second. Damn, girl. Damn. Does society hate femininity? I don't know. I don't think so. But it certainly sees it as weak. You see this, of course, with a lot of the right-wing macho shit. Drinking Starbucks is feminine and therefore weak. But you also see it on the left. Or at least the liberal left. Liberal Hollywood, to be exact. And it's being disguised as progressivism. We see this a lot, but the two that immediately come to my mind are Lola Bunny and the Green M&M. Oh, the Green M&M. I hate her. <laughs> okay, yes, this sounds silly, but hear me out. Watching Tucker Carlson's obsession with the Green M&M losing her sexy boots was hilarious, but it is kind of weird how the <laughs> vice president of M&M said they changed up her boots for sneakers to signify empowerment and confidence. There's also Lola Bunny losing her- I owe you all. I see another shoe video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bunny curves. And the director of Space Jam 2 said it was because it's important to reflect the authenticity of strong, capable female characters. So why exactly is traditional femininity, whether it's female clothing or female bodies, seen as the opposite of strong and empowering? Why do women need to be masculine to be considered strong? And it's not just female clothing or female <laughs> bodies that are considered weak. It's also traditional traditional female personality traits. I'll give you three examples off the top of my head. From the new She-Hulk show. Jennifer Walters has arrived, and she wants nothing to do with saving the world. She's ready to be honest about life with her newfound powers. I heard that show was pretty shit. Didn't watch it myself though. Her career and dating life. To the Snow White remake. Rachel Zegler. Not the Snow White remake. <laughs> 
Not the Snow White remake, please, no. Because she's bringing a modern edge to Disney's live-action Snow White. She's not going to be saved by the prince or dreaming about true love. And even the- No, 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 make it stop, make it stop, make it stop the new Little Mermaid remake. I'm really excited for my version of the film because we've definitely changed that perspective of her just wanting to leave the ocean for a boy. It's about herself, her purpose, her freedom, her life, and what she wants. As women, we are amazing, we are independent, we are modern, we are everything and above. I'm glad Disney is updating some of those themes. Yeah, I'm so glad that Disney is updating how the... <laughs> A fairy tale went. Oh yeah, is she turned into foam in the original? Like in the original fairy tale? Oh, about that. Mm. There are dozens and dozens of other examples, but you get it. If you've been alive for the past ten years, you get it. The seemingly unending push of these strong, independent women who don't need no man. Who focuses on herself and her career. Who has no time for true love or saving the world. Who cares? Is Ariel just died in the original? Ariel did not die in the original, no. Ariel was alive, Ariel was saved, Ariel was completely fucking fine. In the fairy tale, however, the little mermaid, who does not have a name, she's just referred to as the little mermaid, turns into foam. Who cares about other people? It's called self-care, sweetie. It's no wonder people see something like this. A woman unapologetically embracing her femininity, not just in style, but in lifestyle. Embracing a lifestyle where she puts her family <laughs> and her loved ones first, so the above her herself electric. and above her career. It's no surprise people see that Sorry. and think it's subversive. Because it is. Okay, that concludes video essay mode. Thank you. I look like a drag queen. No! Not at all! What the fuck? Not at all! That concludes it's so pretty! Video essay mode. I look like a drag queen. There is, of course, another side of this. The conservative side, which believes that all women are just meant to be in the home. And that men should do none of the housework. Apparently. I do not know how to operate the laundry machine. When my wife said, oh, could you go put the... It's... it's not that hard. It's... It's really not that hard, man. It's... Put it on the program. To put the fucking soap in and you turn that bitch on. It's... That's really not that hard, bro. The laundry in, I have done it. I have had to ask her to guide me every step of the way. That is not something that comes naturally to men. I'm so, so you're dumb. So you're dumb. Not what you're telling me. You're dumb as hell. Sorry, but it is very weird that a grown-ass man does not know how to do laundry. Apparently, he's not even the only one. All right, Drew. Well, this is a trick question because I have not done anything around the house for 40 years. <laughs> Would you rather do laundry or do the dishes? I need to poll this. Like, that's a funny question. Like, since we are like 98, 99% men in here, if there even is a woman in, at the moment in the chat, maybe we're 100% male right now, we need to make a poll. Dishes or laundry? Start Paul. Here you go, chat. Go on. You don't- you don't get to choose both. You only get to choose one or the other. Thanks for the follow props, number one. I was just about to do it for you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ben, you answered dishes. Mrs. Shapiro said, I'm not sure Ben knows how to do laundry, so I'll go with the dishes. Ben, your wife is a whole ass doctor and you don't know how to work a laundry machine? What? Now, although I have a more socially libertarian outlook on this than they do, I do actually agree that one parent staying in the home with the kids is the best thing for a family. But my mom stayed home for a while, and then they switched, and my dad stayed home for a while. And to this day, I have a great bond with both of my parents, and I wonder if that is part of the reason why. No, nope, not both options. No, nope, no both options. Don't 50-50 it. I want to put on an opinion. Chat! Pulse are not there for you to 50-50 them.
If I ever hear one of you 50 wanting to 50 50 a Paul, you'll get timed out. This is a tyranny. This is a tyranny. And I enforce it. I enforce this tyranny. No 50 50 -ing. No, with a tyrant. <laughs> My mom taught me how to wash and dry the laundry. Ironically, it's usually men that repair these machines. I I need to I need to restart this entire segment, ma'am. You go girl boss. <laughs> there is of course another side of this, the conservative side, which believes that all women are just meant to be in the home and that men should do none of the housework, apparently. I do not know how there to operate. Is. Guide okay. me. But it is very weird that a grown ass man- Well, dishes, Mrs. Shapiro said, I'm not yeah, sure Ben no. knows how to do laundry, so I'll go with the dishes. Ben, your wife is a whole ass doctor and you don't know how to work a laundry machine? That is so funny. What? Now, although I have a more socially libertarian outlook on this than they do, I do actually agree that one parent staying in the home with the kids is the best thing for a family. But it my is mom important. stayed home for a while and then they switched and my dad stayed home for a while. And to this day, I have a great bond with both of my parents and I wonder if that is part of the reason why. I was lucky and I wish everyone could be that lucky. Being a stay at home parent is a job and honestly, it should pay like a job. I can't think of a more important role in society than raising the future generation. In fact, this is a major reason of why I consider myself a socialist. I believe culture can trickle down from economics. And I believe certain policies, policies that people like Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro might disagree with, could make it possible to get back to that time where people can raise a family on one income. If someone is able to live that traditional lifestyle, they are extremely privileged they are like imagine a one working household with a family bro that person the one person that that person is only the, ow 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 i just hit myself with my metal water bottle <laughs> but if you're, a, you're in a safe relationship just split up the work so both parties are comfortable with their tasks it's not rocket science legit just like let people handle their relationships however the fuck they want to handle their relationship. <laughs> like, oh my god. To do so, because let's face it, men are fing broke nowadays. There have been several they are. articles about how women this are This economy, hello? They can't find a man who makes more money than they do. Because no matter what women fing say, they want a provider. Women hate the wage gap until a motherfucker asks to split the bill. They want someone yep. who can take care of them. Preach! Fucking preach it. Fucking preach it. Oh my god. Makes more money than they do. Because no matter what women fucking say, they want a provider. Women hate the wage gap until a motherfucker asks to split the bill. They fucking preach. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Preach. Want someone who can take care of them and take care of their children. Most men can't do that they can barely afford to take care of themselves it is nearly <laughs> impossible to take care of a family on one income in america today but why some people say it's because of capitalism other people say it's because of feminism and some really insane people will say it's a little bit of both the thing is feminism has completely you 50 50 it <laughs> you 50 50 it <laughs> i'm gonna cry the thing is, <laughs> feminism has completely failed women. <laughs> to be more precise, lean in, pink pussy hat, girl boss, neoliberal feminism has completely failed women. Whew. <laughs> women aren't fulfilled. <laughs> Men, for that matter, are not fulfilled. Everyone's depressed, lonely, overworked, atomized, and many people, men and women, are longing for a time that probably will never exist. A time that will mm -hmm. probably never come back. A time of Easy economic security, economic growth, Money. community, strong unions, higher wages, affordable housing, racism, lobotomies, back when they put ra Real cocaine and Coca-Cola. Put the cocaine back in Coca-Cola, you coward. <laughs> Fucking 
Put it back. Give us a call. <laughs> Sorry. Scratch those last two things. You get what I mean, though. When I look at videos <laughs> like this, I don't see a fetish. I don't see no! white supremacy. I see I someone see being happy. I see a neoliberal hell world. And more importantly, I see someone doing what they want to do and not hurting anyone. There's not I'm seeing someone being happy and confident in the way they live. Someone who is completely fucking comfortable. Nothing wrong with choosing to work for your family who loves you instead of a boss who hates you. There's nothing wrong with dedicating your life to something bigger than your next Amazon purchase. In conclusion, leave the TikTok trad wives alone. If you like this video, please consider it's subscribing and donating to my Patreon, link down below. We're doing Discord movie nights together every month oh. and it's a whole lot of fun. So I would love to see you there and stick around for the next video. Bye! Bring back the bottom piece, I need one. <laughs> Fucking Christ. I'll watch this video tomorrow, this one. Safe to watch later. Bye, YouTube. Thanks for watching. This video just made me sad, not gonna lie. Dude, living makes me sad. Fucking living makes me sad. Living makes me sad.